So, um, this is the second video in the recently read feature. Um, I've been there is this book I've been waiting for for so so long, and I've been talking about it to all of my friends, uh, my brother, literally like you know my grandmother, anybody who'd listen. Um, and that's because it's a really really it, it's a really nicely written book. It's a really pretty book. It's um it's just an awesome book, and that book is the archived. Now, now it, I'm just going to go through the archive with you. Um, first of all, it's by Victoria Schwab, the author of The Near Witch. Um, if you haven't seen her, um, there we are. That is Victoria Schwab. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through through it with you. So the book itself, really pretty cover. And it's really velvety. Um, then you've got these really nice end papers. Um, again, the archive is like that. Another, um, and then and then you've got a really really nice quote. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna throw it into the cat talk today. Um, so imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. So I'll just read to you briefly what it is about. So each body has a story to tell, a life seen in pictures that only librarians can read. The dead are called histories and the vast film in which they can re in which they rest is the archived. Dar first brought Mackenzie Bishop here four years ago when she was twelve years old, frightened but determined to prove herself. Now Dar is dead and Mac has grown into what he once was, a ruthless keeper tasked with shopping with stopping often violent histories from waking up and getting out. Because of her job, she lies to the people she loves and she knows fear for what it is, a useful tool for staying alive. Being a keeper isn't just dangerous, it's a constant reminder of those Mac has lost. Dar's death was hard enough, but now that her little brother is gone too, Mac starts to wonder about the boundary between living and dying, sleeping and waking. In the archive, the dead must never be disturbed, and yet someone is deliberately altering the histories, erasing essential chapters, Unless Mac can piece together what remains, the archive, the archive itself may crumble and fall. In this haunting, richly imagined novel, Victoria Schwab reveals the thin lines between past and present, love and pain, trust and deceit, unbearable loss, and hard-won redemption. But, um, oh, and, and in the back, the gargoyles. But yeah, it, it's a book and it is so beautifully written. Um, so we've got different fonts, everything is a really nice book and it's one of the best books that I have read this year so far um, and you know, I keep it next to all the JK Rowling books um, with the casual vacancy because it's hardcover and like my brother said to me would you say that this book is better than Harry Potter and for a moment I actually was like you know buy it it's really good um, and but so yeah thank you um, the next book that I will be doing a video on is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green thank you